How are we doing folks? Currently Eric here and today we're actually going to take a nice little reaction video of the first look at Nintendo Labo. I'm not really going to say that. Labo. Um, we're going to take a look at it and then I'm going to talk about it afterwards. So here we are. Let's enjoy the Nintendo Labo. Alright. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? So that is the Nintendo Labo, <clears throat> and I think it's going to be something that's very great. I think it's going to be something that's very great for kids. Um, mostly, I, I feel that people are taking what I've seen, uh, comment feedback on, um, <clears throat> like on my Facebook and on Twitter. People are commenting and saying that this is like stupid and all this. I personally think it's fantastic. Um, that's because I still like Legos and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I think it's fantastic. So, like, this is fantastic to me to see something that's really cool. Yes, it's made of cardboard, but, I mean, to sit here and challenge kids to build something instead of just sitting there mindlessly droning in front of the screen, I mean, for them to sit here and build a piano is fantastic. I think that's so freaking cool. And then sitting there with, like, the drone robot, like, the, the big robot and everything, I've, that's pretty cool. And I, I think that's cool. And, like, to sit here and... um. The, the 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 motorbike and you can actually rev the motorbike. I thought that was cool. That thing was pretty cool too. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um but yeah there's there's there it is the motorbike. That was pretty cool. The fishing rod. The fishing rod looks cool. I I honestly feel like I think this is a wonderful thing. It's innovative. It's definitely different what um definitely making that innovative step towards how the switch is innovative by being um, a hybrid console between being handheld and putting it on the dock and then Sony TV. Um, they're making the Joy-Cons be part of there. Uh, that is, it's cool, and it's not meant for adults. It's obviously in, meant for kids, but I can totally see a bunch of adults playing that. Look at, like, and everything. I mean, playing, like, the piano and the this robot thing is cool. I think this is sweet. Like, punching the, punching the stuff, 
like the buildings and then it reverting into a car is fantastic, like a transformer. So that's pretty cool. Um, I did look in um, I looked on GameStop and I did look up the prices. Um, let me actually double check again real quick on the cellular device here. But they, they are up for pre-order. Um, it does come out on 420 of all things, and I think that's pretty funny. Um, look, look at that. See, it was like a joystick, and then you got the piano, and then you just... I just find that so fascinating. Look, at they show the mechanics of how it works, and just... It, it's pretty cool to me. I feel like this is like, going to be something that's going to either going to be hit or miss, and I see it being some sort of, I can see it being a success by, like, the fact that you can draw on the cardboard, and it's made of cardboard, so it's not like you're sitting there with a really valuable plastic piece, it's cardboard, so cardboard's easy to fix, um, and a lot of people are like, oh man, once if you run out of cardboard, or you break the cardboard, or, you know, and everything, it's like, well, then it's cardboard, so... You can always tape it or maybe get your own cardboard pieces and fix it as well. Um, ooh, don't know what's going on here. We don't need to do that. But again, it's just such a fantastic way to be innovative that Nintendo is doing something great. Um, and now they're actually calling them like, um, they're calling them Toy Cons. Toy Con, as you saw at the end there, it's a Toy Con 1 and Toy Con 2. Um, they're going to come out with more. Uh, like you saw, they're one, the first one is going to be a variety pack. And then the second one is the robot kit. So the variety pack is going to have like the stuff like the piano and the fishing rod and all that. Um, let me look up the prices again before we end this video right here. Um, but I honestly feel like um, I definitely want to pre-order one of these. I might pre-order the variety pack. Maybe I'll do both. If you want to know, let me know down below if I should order both. If I should order one. If I should do either. I think this is a fantastic thing. I think this is just like awesome Legos but with like cardboard. I mean look at that house. That house is so cool. And whatever that thing is supposed to be. I don't... And it moves! <laughs> it moves and the, the bike and... <laughs> it's fantastic. So the Nintendo Labo Robot Kit is $79.99 pre-order and the Variety Pack is $69.99. So um, depending on what you would like and everything, what you feel would be better. I mean, look at that, look at that drum pedal. That's fantastic. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys can comment down below what you think about the Labo. Do you think it's going to be cool? Do you think it's going to be a success? Do you feel it's not going to be a success? Please tell me why. Tell me down below. Comment down below, please. As well as give me a giant thumbs up right there. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you hit that subscribe button and I forgot to take out that stupid freaking subscribe thing on the bottom here and I'm sorry I messed up on that one it's kind of broken English but please if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and everything as well so with that being said as well make sure you follow my friends at Grooms and Studios Grown Children and Halloween Heartthrob three fantastic people with fantastic videos and very fantastic content to watch so please give them a look-see please and with that being said, I'll see you guys later with another video. Take it easy, Crown Eric's out of here. Have a good one.